Hello, my friends. It's your friend Kevin. Welcome, 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 everybody. New subscribers, existing subscribers, all of you. I love you all. And this is your card of the day. So let me th start by thanking Radley Valentine and Dougal Frazier and Brooke Stefanelli for creating our card of the week or the card of the day deck, Angels and Auras Oracle deck. Um, um, and thank you to Kyle Gray and Jennifer Hawkyard for creating and being the masterminds between the Divine Masters Oracle, which is our card of the or our deck we use for our card of the week done. Um, and I'm also using another deck. I didn't say what they were. The Happier Me by Aramon or Arion. I don't know where they are, but they're affirmation decks. Uh, empowering. Uh, um, just empowering us. Affirmations. My isms today is I am in deliberate creation mode and I am of purpose. I am decisive. I am loving. I am appreciated and I am determined this is a number nine day. It's a day of completion, getting out the, all the procrastinations, being humanitarian, being creative, being artistic, being of service to other people and putting away all the things that stop you from being that. Let's look at uh, the happier me. Why worry about something that hasn't happened yet? Well, you just as easily choose to believe that it will all work out. I like that. Speaks to anxiety. Um I release all negative thoughts about the past and all worries about the future. And look at this woman. She's got a dandelion. May as well be a fairy light in her, in her hand and she's blowing on it. So this is where we go with our don't worry about anything that's already happened and don't worry about anything that's about to happen because it's all where it's supposed to be. Vajra Yogini is our card of the week. Vajra Yogini is a goddess, I believe, that works in the Buddhist and the Hindu traditions to transcend our fears, to have us look at it, to have us set light to it. And if you did any full moon rituals with the eclipse energy, oh, goodness gracious me, last night you did the burning bowl and you can still do it. You can still use this light and this energy of this full moon, probably for next day or two to release and transcend anything that is getting in your way big changes come up and when there's an eclipse it's amplified it is given an extra oomph so you know watch i'm not saying watch the news feeds but you know watch what's going on around you in your in your world and what's happening and the changes you may find some stuff at home you've got to take care of some sibling stuff some parental stuff some children's stuff just stuff that may be popping up people who are not waking up people who are not awake to what we're doing oh they can find it difficult and challenging to work the intensity of the moon and these eclipses let's get on with our card of the day and see how it all pulls together uh Beatrice and Gertrude, thank you very much for being with us, bringing your love, your light, your challenge, your channeling and all of the wisdom you've got. I'm looking to see what they're up to today. Uh, they're just sitting by their tea table. Um, oh, there's our card. Um, um, it's a number nine day. What do I need to know about a number nine day? Um, the time is right. There's no other better time to do what you're doing. And it works with, again, being humanitarian, being creative, being artistic, uh, any which way you can to find a way through or to where you're going. Let's have a look at our card of the day. Time to go. Well, look at this. I like this. Here we've got a card. <coughs> um, bags are packed. Doors open. Look how nice and sunny it is out there. It's definitely spring in this card. We've got a 41 and we've got kind of the color of burnt umber, a bit of orange going on. I would say some Ariel energy here. Uh, right over there, we've got our passport ready to go. And we've got two bags, a carry-on and a check-in bag. Transformation, completion, confirmation and exit. Um, what I would say about this in terms of where we are you have this had this plan 
in your heart. You've sat on it through the winter, I believe. Being in deliberate creation mode, which is concentrate on your hopes and your dreams and anything that brings you joy. The inner being that is our future self is always ready and able to let us know what we are supposed to know, where we're supposed to go, what we're supposed to do. However, they're based upon our dreams and our desires. Now, obviously, with the number nine day in angel numerology, they're saying get going, get moving, get get pushing forward, push the yes button, push the go button, push the I'm all in button, because the number that follows it is either going to be an 11 or a 1, and you would normally think it would be a 10, which is really a 1. And that's all about new, begin new beginnings and being open. So that would be coming up tomorrow. So let's have a look at what are number 41, and let's look at the energy of how is this going to work with a number 9 day, um, because that adds up to uh, a 5. Um, and how does transformation? I'd say if this is, was in the reverse, if it was if it was the shadow side and it was this way, you'd be working with stagnation, questioning, and you'd be at a dead end. But you're not at a dead end. You're moving forward. So the energy of completion is all the way around all of us. And whether it's a situation or a relationship that has benefited you in the past, it's done. Whoa, boy. Okay. Um, I like how this is going. Uh, now it's time to make changes that you know in your heart you're ready to do. So happiness, your joy, your love, your your all those good goo-goo feelings are like a breath of fresh air. And they're waiting for you to walk into. Now Archangel Michael is always going to be by your side. You can call upon him along with your guardian angels. They've got your back. Whatever you are thinking about may happen. It's all going to be a good thing. Um, I don't know that you have any other. Uh, I mean, really, look at I mean, this is how all of this works. And I shuffled and I pulled this this morning. I released all negative thoughts about the past and all worries about the future. Then I pulled this woman who's been with us all week long, get rid of fear. And then I get this one, it's time to go. I don't know how much clearer I can be. Um, <laughs> Gertrude is sitting here. Uh, well, she's not even sitting now. She's standing up with her hands on her hips and she's going like this with her magic wand. Uh, this may as well be a magic wand that this woman's got here. Look. I mean, she may as well be blowing the magical sparkles into the air saying, listen, I'm ready to go, people. I ain't got time to hang out. I ain't got time to mess about. Um, it's two clicks and a twist. You know, what is it RuPaul says? Um, Shantae, you stay or sashay away. <laughs> this is time to sashay away to something else. Um, and this is how I feel about things that aren't working out. You know, if you've landed on something that you've kind of pushed and manipulated and shoved and worked and done and kind of did your thing, stirred it and stirred it. I'll give you an example of when this is <laughs> time to let go. Yesterday, and I don't know why I wanted to do this, I decided I was going to make another <laughs> loaf of bread. <laughs> so I looked up, I mean, I really shouldn't be doing stuff like this, but I did it anyway. Um, I looked up ways that you could proof it. How long do you need to proof sourdough bread? Because there's no yeast in it. And it said, you know, one and a half to two hours. So I thought, you know, three would be a good thing. And for some reason, I got out a different loaf pan instead of using my regular metal one. I just got this um, um, stoneware one that came. I'm like, what do you want? I'm going to use this. Well, I did the kneading and the folding and the shaping. And I like doing all that because it lets me just get into a meditative mode. I'm doing it all and I'm, you know, shaping the loaf in how his name is Grant, not Grant. What's his name? Uh, Bake with Jack is who that is. He's an English fella. I find him delightful to, to watch because he gives all of this crazy nuancey stuff. Anyway, I digress. I plonked it in the pan, right? And, you know, I waited. They say you can heat the oven 45 minutes before you bake it. Did all of that. Plumped it in. It came out. Well, even though I greased 
this silverware pan, it got stuck. Like, oh, so I had to dig it out. Then when it cooled down, I went and cut it. It hadn't proved long enough. It was cooked, it was baked, it wasn't raw dough, but it was like a brick, like thick, like dense, like it wasn't lovely and puffy and airy like it usually is. Doesn't mean it went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't mean I didn't get it right just meant I'm not eating that this is what I mean by letting go what are you not eating what are you not serving up for yourself and by moving forward and using the full moon and the eclipse which is helping us Uranus is in a lovely arrangement with Venus so all of your ripping the plaster off and walking forward tall that's all what you're supposed to be doing, what we're meant to be doing. And you want to look at your guardian angels as well as your ascended relatives because they're all doing this. Yes, good for you. There are some ascended relatives that when they're in a physical embodiment has a tendency to not be fulfilling some of these things that you know, somehow or another, they got influenced in a different way. Don't make them wrong. However, when the soul and the spirit leaves the body and leaves all of these time-based constraints, there's this freedom. And the focus becomes, oh, I want to bring messages and this freedom and this light and this joy and this happiness to all of my friends who are still in a physical experience and how they do it is through folks like me and folks like other people epiphanies um, you start seeing things on the ground around you which is why you have to pay attention pay close attention to what's going on right now right here in this moment not next week or tomorrow because as we know my friends whatever happens tomorrow either is for your highest good or it's not the difference is you get to choose what it's for. So if something happens tomorrow, you can't control that today, which doesn't seem to be for your highest good, then you choose. Oh, there must be another choice. There is always another choice. It might not be the other choice that someone else would make for you, but they're not you. And they don't get to make your choices for you, if that makes sense. Anyway, listen, that's all Gertrude. She is, she is fierce and determined and her counterpart Beatrice is just applauding it until tomorrow there is nothing but love for you here and I am so grateful that you comment that you engage that you do this every day it gives me nothing but joy and pleasure to lift you up bye for now hey everybody we hope you've enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like subscribe and share it with all your friends uh, here's a qr code if you decide you'd like to get a private personal reading with me i'm available most evenings and on the weekends just go over to the website book in what session 30 minutes 60 minutes uh, and then fill in the contact information and i'll be back in touch and if you feel kind enough, here is a link to my donation button. Energy exchange of any amount is always gratefully received. Until next time, be well, be blessed, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.